I enjoy being different and I enjoy doing my own thing and I enjoy being happy and just being positive. I've just always looked at life that way. It, it takes a special person to actually come into my bubble because I'm so different that people don't always get me. My name is Sinead Folke and I was born the 5th of October 1996. I was born into a family of four um, with an older brother and an older sister. Um, they were 10 and 13 years older than me so I had to find a lot of ways to entertain myself and keep myself busy. I spent a lot of time in the garden. I love being in the garden and animals and flowers and there's always a big tree in our garden and that tree always had a swing on and I love swinging and it just took me up into the sky and I just lost myself in my own little world. Within my own little world I kind of made myself a bubble and in my bubble everything was good and everything was happy. I'm still that person, I'm still very positive and I'm still in my own world and I was brought up in a way that there was no bad and um, my parents protected me in that sense that they, they hid away the bad that was in, the, that was in my life. But I did still notice that there were things going on that weren't always normal. While most people have monsters under their bed, I didn't really think that way because my parents protected me so much, but in actual fact there was a real monster in my house. And this affected me in a way that I only really realised as I got older. As I grew up, I realised what was different and what was different in my life compared to other kids I was growing up with was that I was growing up with my brother who was actually a drug addict and an alcohol abuser. There were times when like police came and fetched him and I could see the trauma it put on my family and on my parents. Since about high school, I've been suffering a lot with like depression and anxiety because there's this constant uncertainty and also knowing that my parents are not doing well with the situation at all. I realised how much he's actually taken away from me because my parents taught him what's right and what's wrong and they've helped him and they've taken him to rehab. He's been in and out of rehab and that's what I've learned from all of this is that there's choice and everybody has choice. So my choice in life was to be happy and to try to be happy and to always make sure that I make the right choices to make sure that my life is the best life that I can live. Oh.